NATO explains how Russia manages to replenish huge losses. The main hope is in African countries. A NATO official has said that Russia currently maintains a quantitative advantage over Ukraine in ammunition, personnel and equipment. The NATO official, speaking on condition of anonymity, said this. The official noted that Russia has the capacity to recruit up to 30,000 new soldiers every month. They are likely recruiting about 30,000 new troops every month, so they can likely continue to cover their huge losses, the official said. He added, however, that Russian forces still lack the ammunition and maneuverable units necessary to successfully conduct large-scale offensive operations. And the Russian command is now trying to organize and maintain morale. The official said, due to significant manpower losses on the Ukrainian battlefield, Russia has resorted to recruiting mercenaries in African countries, luring them with promises of thousands of dollars and a Russian passport. That's according to the British Defense Ministry, referring to intelligence reports. On the 28th of May, 2024, Ukraine's defense intelligence reported that Russia has intensified attempts to recruit Africans to fight in Ukraine. In particular, these recruitment efforts focus on the Central African countries of Rwanda, Burundi, Congo and Uganda. Russia is reportedly offering a sign-up bonus of $2,000, monthly pay of $2,200 and the promise of a Russian passport. The report said, the Ministry of Defense added that the ongoing recruitment campaign is likely to replace Russian battlefield losses, which are significant, and to sustain offensive activity in the multiple axes across the front. With Russia's finite pool of convict recruitment likely culminated, Russia is likely expanding its recruitment across the global south to avoid additional mobilization within Russia itself. As well as being domestically unpopular for President Putin and the Russian government, the previous mobilization for the war resulted in a record labor shortage and an exodus of skilled workers such as doctors and IT professionals, the ministry wrote. A massive fire broke out at the asphalt storage facility of an oil refinery located in Erbil, northern Iraq. Due to the massiveness of the blaze, around a dozen firefighting teams tried to put it out. The cause of the fire remains unclear. According to Al Maluma website, 12 civil defense forces were injured in the blaze herbal-based Ruda New Agency has also reported the injury of several people in a large out-of-control fire at oil refinery fire. Ruda media outlet learned that several other refineries are located in the vicinity of the burning refinery. An eyewitness told Ruda that one person was injured and many others suffered from breathing problems but Ruda could not independently verify the information. I was close to the refinery. When I heard the sound of the explosion, here was a big bang, he said. Fire incidents are common in Iraq and the Kurdistan region. A fire broke out at an asphalt factory near Arbat town in the east of Soleimani in October killing one worker and injuring three others. Hello.